Hey guys, this is Zaybaum, and this is the Heroic Guide to Patchwork, which is not free to play simply because we're using Cold Light Oracle, but the basis of the deck is to mill patchwork. Basically, you use your cards like Naturalize, Cold Light Oracle, Youthful Brewmaster, Dancing Swords, to make patchwork draw more cards, and if you can get him to fatigue enough because he starts with no cards, you should be a-okay. But, because it takes a few turns to get it up and running, you definitely want to want cards like Deathlord and all these cheap one-mana taunts, Goldshire and Shieldbearer, and uh, Healing Touch is an another counter. Uh, Youthful Brewmaster, if you didn't get that before, uh, basically you combo this with Cold Light Oracle to draw more cards. Uh, some of these cards aren't too necessary, um, like Raid Leader, but it's just extra damage and... It works. So, onto the game. Here we are at the mulligan screen, and this is pretty much a dream hand. The only thing that I could want more is naturalize. Uh, so, I'll just try and mulligan for that. Of course, we just get another Death Lord, which is fine. Uh, but the basic premise of this deck is fatigue uh, patchwork. And obviously, he doesn't draw cards every turn. But if we can get him to draw 8 cards, it does 36 damage, which along with the damage I'm going to be doing for my minions is enough uh, to kill him. So, I actually made this deck as a, as a joke at first. I was just like, Psh, I just want to see if you can like fatigue Patchwork to death. And I tried it, and <laughs> to my surprise it actually worked. In uh, Despite all my frustration with trying to deal uh, with, with Patchwork. And... Well, here we are. So basically, just make him draw more cards. And I don't know what to do with this Innervate as of right now. I think I'm just going to keep it. Uh, it doesn't really matter how much damage you take to the face as long as you get your your uh, key cards. Obviously, uh, he's going to... Hold on, i got to think here. Alright, I'm sort of in a dangerous position. Not really, though. I think I can just taunt up, and I need more health, so just use these claws while I have them. If I can get a Brewmaster or a two Naturalizes or whatever, I'm golden because he's drawn four cards already. Uh, Dancing Swords will make it uh, what's it called five. If I can get it to work, of course. Now the key here is that normally when I tried these freeze decks, it didn't work too well. Simply because he would just use Hateful Strike um, and not use his weapon. And uh, it would clear my board. And now that he has to play the weapon at such low mana, he can't use Hateful Strike. And he has to deal with my taunts um, by using the weapon instead of Hateful Strike, which is really what can do you some harm in this. Uh, Naturalize is a great card to see right now. Uh, but if I naturalize, he'll draw his fifth and sixth card. That is 11 damage, so I just need a taunt up. And I have just the um, just the amount of taunts to stay alive. He's going to use it on uh, this thing. And I'm going to take four more damage. And that will be a 2. And I will have plenty enough uh, resources. Oh my god, look at all this stuff that I have. So first of all, I can attack. I can use... There's actually a couple ways of winning. I can play Dancing Swords, Naturalize. I can just straight up Naturalize. I can Brewmaster, Cold Light, Naturalize. So many things I could do. I'll just go in style. And, oh wait, no. Got a hero up first. And so, basically this deck, um, I was having some trouble with patchwork before, uh, but this deck, in my first two tries, I was able to beat him no problem, so I hope that helped. It's, of course, it's not a free-to-play deck, um, simply because it uses Cold Light Oracle, but everything else is free-to-play. So, if that helped, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and for once, a mill deck actually worked. Maybe if more opponents uh, started with zero cards, 
it would be a viable option. And if you enjoyed the video or if it helped, uh, I would really appreciate a like rating or a comment on some feedback, and I'm ready to answer any questions you have with this deck.